What is going on beautiful people? TJ here with another episode. Today I'm going to be trying my hand at thrifting. Y'all know I don't really, yeah, me and I, we don't thrift too often. So we're going to go, I'm going to go and try to do, uh, hit a couple thrift stores. I'm going to hit a Goodwill and then also a Christian uh, Bible thrift store that's close to us that we've been to before and uh hopefully i can buy some really good stuff so i'm going to try to start doing this like one or two times a week just to see you know just to get better get get up to speed on the thrifting because you know we ain't been thrifting so let's get to the thrift store all right i like these Three dollars, and they have a set. I think I'm gonna pick those up. They have some other ones. I'm gonna check these out. These made by Westwood, 1994. server let's look that up see okay so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover on this part because it was a lady she was literally stalking me she was so close to me this whole time uh but uh I don't know anything about a lot of these little um gadgets if they don't have anything on the bottom of them so I'll try to use the Google lens app to you know find out some information on some of this stuff um, these plates were priced pretty high. They was priced like twenty, um, twenty dollars. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. I didn't know if I should grab those. So uh, I did put those back. But I'm gonna show you what the bottom of it says. So it looks like it's from like 1986, maybe. But let me know in the comment section if y'all seen any of these plates uh, before. I actually was able to find a couple from this brand on eBay, but not this specific one. So I did see this little gadget, this veggie, veggie TD power thing. Um, and it had some soul comps on eBay. I actually had quite a bit of soul comps on eBay, um, but for the price that they wanted for it, I think they wanted like $10. Is that what they say? It's $12. They want $12 for it. And with shipping and stuff, I didn't think it was going to be a pretty, a good buy. So this one was actually like a bean mug or like a bean bowl or something. Uh, they wanted twenty. <laughs> they wanted twenty dollars for this. Um, it was pretty thick and heavy, and it seemed like it was quality. And I'm pretty sure it's vintage because the tags in this store actually right on there like vintage. But it is West Bend um, brand, and they had plenty of sold comps on eBay uh, for this particular one. It was just. $20 was too much to, to buy this for. If it was like $5, I would have got it. So I'm assuming this is like the like hard goods kind of section of this store. Um, they had this uh, pretty cool little floor steamer. Um, and it's a Conair brand. And it was just $5. But I was like, eh, I don't know. I wouldn't. Uh, it would be too much to ship that. Um, and then I went through all of this stuff here. There wasn't too much stuff um, really in this section. There was a lady that was right here and I swear she was not moving. She was not giving up this corner <laughs> until she like saw everything over here. Um, but yeah, it, I saw a couple things that were like new. Um, these Roth, what was they Rothwood? Uh, oh no, Allen and Roth uh, brand. I think these are like curtain accessories or something like that. Um, but yeah, I didn't see, I didn't pull up a, a listing for those on Amazon or eBay. Uh, I probably could look them up on Home Depot now that I think about it, but it just didn't seem like it was going to be worth it, um, for how much they wanted for those items. So, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a thrifter, so I don't really know, you know, all the tips and tricks, but if I don't find a listing for it and I feel like it's not, um, prudent for me to buy those, uh, those items. So I went through and I looked through all of this stuff on these shelves. Uh, I looked at some of the brand names that this shelf normally has items. Sometimes there are new, 
um, and sometimes I can just scan the barcode and see what the price of price of them is. But they didn't have too much stuff this time, and it was almost like picked over. I guess is, that's what you call it. It's kind of like uh, I came in after every ride hour, get everything, because uh, this section is normally a little bit cleaner than what it is right now. I did look at the little bison, or it's kind of a big bison. It's really heavy, but it was like fifteen dollars, um, and the sole comps were like twenty five. So I didn't think that was gonna be a pretty, uh, I didn't think that was gonna be a good buy. Uh, they did have golf clubs. I know zero about golf clubs. So I need to brush up on my golf club game. And then also they had this golf bag. Um, I couldn't find that brand online. I, I just could not, couldn't find, couldn't find that brand. Uh, but they wanted 20, uh, what was that? $25 for that. Um, I know Ella is an expert in shipping these bags. Ella, you need to give me a, um, <laughs> you need to give me a tutorial. So then I looked at these shoes. They didn't have too many shoes. They didn't have a lot of athletic shoes. They had a lot of uh, these kind of casual type of shoes, boat shoes. Um, but these were pretty cool. Uh, they were clean looking and uh, they didn't look too worn. And I actually found some sole comps for them uh, online. So we'll talk about that at the end of the video uh, once I show you everything that I got. I did also see these shoes. These are like some sort of uh, work um, type of shoes, like some steel toe. Um, they, they were heavy and hard. Y'all can hear them clunking around. <laughs> but they was actually in pretty decent shape. And I did see uh, this brand, Moxie Trades, I think is what it was. Um, it's, like I said, like a work shoe. Um, but I didn't see enough sole comps for this particular style. Um, so I just left them there. I also saw these. Um, these are like some Nike, um, I guess, like, they're not cleats. I don't, they're like track shoes, maybe. Um, and they was actually in pretty decent shape. They was like a youth size, so I didn't pick those up. All right, no more way out. I saw this little tub of tins. These were pretty cool tins. This is a Hormel Foods one. Um, and they had a bunch of uh, different tins in here. I think these were like 25 cents. Um, I didn't even look them up. I probably should have looked them up, but I didn't. I uh, figured these, <laughs> they probably aren't that expensive. Um, some of these were from like 1995 and before. All right, so just as I was checking out, I saw this. So this is like a old school game genie in like a pristine box. Um, so this was $15. Um, and I think I need to look at the soul comps. We'll look at the soul comps here in just a little bit. I'm gonna go to the Goodwill uh, to check out and see what they got. All right, so just got to the Goodwill um, and I'm about to go in here and see if I can find some stuff. Uh, I've been to this Goodwill a couple of times and it hasn't always been like the best, but we're gonna try today. I'm gonna try to just kind of talk with the camera on as opposed to doing like a voice over here. The last store, um, that was like a Christian um, thrift store, I guess what you, what you wanna call it. But they was trying to like move stuff around inside the store, so they was like talking really loud. So uh, I, I put the audio in there if I can, but if I can't, it'll be a voiceover on that part. So let's get into a thrift store. Okay, so apparently they cut the music up real loud, like the club. So you, <laughs> I guess they don't like recorders in there. So the music's too loud. I'm just gonna have to do a voiceover. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, I did find this rock band um, game. Didn't really have good soul comps on that. Uh, I know I see a lot of people getting like the rock band, the actual like rock band guitars and stuff. Um, but I didn't see any of that stuff in this thrift store. Normally this thrift store has more uh, video games than what it did. So I'm thinking maybe I came on like a bad day um, or something, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty barren over here. Uh, they also do have got a bunch of golf clubs. They actually had a lot more golf clubs than what I saw last time. Um, and like I said, I wish I knew how to look up golf clubs. All right. So I, fixed my camera on the, the buggy kind of a little bit. I don't know how it's going to work out, but as I was fixing it, I saw this uh, sweet um, like piece of electronics. So I, I thought I'd check it out. Uh, I looked at the sole comps and I think it's going to be a pretty good uh, buy there. I don't know if it works. They I probably could have plugged it in at the store because they had some plugs around there, um, but I didn't get want to get yelled at by the lady. So I just stuck it in my buggy. It was just $8.00. So not too big a deal. I didn't even look around to see if I could find a remote for it, to be honest with you. And it may have been a remote over there, but I don't see one that I'm looking at the video. Um, so this is the store itself. It's not very big. Um, they've got, you know, like a, a old furniture section and they got like a clothes section in the front and then like the heart, the shoes and the heart goods is like towards the back. Every time I come in here though, I always check out the, um, the bags and stuff. So let's go over to the bag section. 
So I always go through and check the bags because sometimes they have some really nice luggage pieces um, in here. Um, some brands that I don't necessarily know about, but then when I look them up, I'm like, oh, this is like an expensive brand. Um, so I always check out the bags over here. I didn't really see anything this time. There was a couple that I looked up because they was in really good condition. Um, they had a couple like roller bags. Um, and it's funny here in just a minute, it's the lady go roll up on me and I had to, <laughs> she scared me. I'm sorry. Not? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's missing the tray. Okay. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> All right, so after my little confrontation there, <laughs> uh, I went over to the shoe section. Uh, I actually walked through the whole shoe section and looked at um, all the shoes they had. Now, they had a larger shoe, shoe section uh, than the last store that I just came from. So I kind of went through some of these shoes. Um, I didn't really see anything. The only shoes that I saw that may have been pretty decent over here were some um, nine West shoes. And I think these shoes were like $6, but I still left them. <laughs> and we're gonna go over to the hard goods section. Piglet Teddy Ruxpin. This is a new one though. Because <clears throat> the tag says 2017. I always look at the games. This is kind of cool looking. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry the music was loud again. So um, we're gonna look at the rest of the hard goods. Then we're gonna get on out of the store so I can show y'all everything that I got. Um, but I did see some really cool little figurines here. Um, I didn't really spend a lot of time looking up a lot of this stuff, um, but I did look at one of these figurines and I think I picked, yeah, I picked it up. This one right here. Um, this one's pretty cool. Uh, at first I wasn't gonna get it. Um, I actually had put it back and then uh, I went back and I looked it up and I actually did a uh, search for it with the Google lens and actually was able to find it. Um, so I did end up picking it up and we'll, I'll tell you what the, uh, what the soul comps looking like um, when we get back to the, the studio. So I'm gonna go through here and I'm show you the rest of the stuff and then we'll get over to the studio. All right, y'all, I really tried to get some good stuff. Uh, y'all know I'm not like a thrifter. Me and April aren't really thrifters, but I think I did okay. So we're gonna look over all the stuff that I got at the thrift store. We're gonna start with these Skechers right here. Um, these are Skecher Go Step, um, and these are a size 10. And I'm assuming these are women's, women's shoes. They look like, I mean, they look like women's shoes. I guess they're women's shoes. I can't tell. <laughs> but uh, these are actually, I paid $8 for these. They're in really good condition, as you can see. They need to be cleaned up just a little bit, but they're these are in really good condition. Uh, $25 plus shipping is the last sole comp. Uh, I put all the sole comps on the screen so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So I uh, paid $8, and I think I can get $25 plus shipping for these. Uh, and then next, I got these really cool... Um, Vintage, I guess vintage. I don't know what's the age or what's the date range for vintage. So these were 1994. Uh, it actually says um, Campbell Soup Company, 1994 by Westwood. Um, you probably can't see that. I'll show. I insert some B-rolls so y'all can see what it looks like. Um, but I had this really cool design, which looks like a Campbell uh, cup. There's no cracks or dents or dings or anything in it. So I got this one. And then I also got this one that says beef condensed beef steak uh, tomato soup. And it's the same uh, one. So I actually found this same two combo set um, for $24. Um, and then it didn't have any shipping on it, but I think I can get uh, a little bit of shipping on it to kind of compensate for the shipping cost. Cause I looked at, they had a bunch of these listed um, with like plates and other different things. Um, but I didn't see this combo, the last sold comp was for $24. So I think I can get some shipping for that one. So we'll say $24 for that. I paid $3 for each one of these. So $3 for this one and $3 for this one. All right, then we go to this disc player. I got this from the Goodwill. 
Um, I was a little nervous about getting this because I don't really know much about it, but it's a um, Pioneer PDM40. It's a multiplay compact disc player and it has whatever the cartridge is. So I looked at the soul comps on eBay. Some of them had this cartridge, some of them did not. Um, but I went by the ones that had the cartridge since mine actually did have the cartridge in it. Uh, I paid $7.99 for it. Uh, at the Goodwill and it is going for $60 plus shipping there. There's a ton of these that have been sold. So I think this one will go pretty good. I did plug it in. It does work. The cartridge does come in and out. Um, I don't know if it takes compact disc or if it takes some other kind of disc. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research to make sure it's fully tested. They did have some that were on there that did sell for like around the $50 range that weren't tested. So, you know, I may just sell it for 50 plus shipping you know, without testing it. But, you know, I can get, if I can get the full price for it, I'm trying to get the full price. None of them had a remote from the ones that I saw that sold. Um, so I'm not too worried about not having a remote because this one doesn't have a remote. All right, the next thing was actually pretty cool. I had actually left my wallet at home and I had to go uh, all the way back home to get my, my wallet. And when I came back, um, I noticed there they had like the DVDs and the games right next to the register. And I had looked at the games. I saw this. This is a Game Genie. I actually forgot about the Game Genie, but this is a Game Genie. If you don't know what this is, you probably young. You don't know what a Game Genie is, but <laughs> the Game Genie, you actually put the Super Nintendo game, you put this inside the Super Nintendo, and then you put the Super Nintendo game inside of this, and then you can put in like some extra codes that you get in like these Game Genie books. So we used to put in like cheat codes and stuff. But this lets you cheat on different games. But look, look at this. It was, um, $15, it had a tag on here for $25, but she had it marked down for $15. So she'll charge me $15 for this, but it has, actually has one game uh, cheat code thing, and it has some sort of like retro, um, <laughs> look at that Nintendo Power thing. Look at those kids, those kids probably grown old now. Um, it has whatever this is, oh, like a warranty card actually has the original um i mean really nice shape original uh instruction booklet then also the game genie uh the game genie itself so it's literally nothing it's just you plug it in it's got a little cartridge reader here and it's got a cartridge here so it is a little dusty so it needs to be cleaned up i'm not going to test it i'm going to sell it as untested so the one that i had uh sold comp was actually untested so i'm gonna sell it for 63 dollars plus shipping um but this is like to me this is like a really cool find um because this like takes me back to my youth we're big gamers me and april and i love you know video games and stuff so pretty cool find all right so look at this this is actually pretty cool this is a melody in motion the sidewalks of new york little um like figurine thing and it has music and it moves um Ain't that cool? Um, so it's um, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it doesn't have any chips. The only thing that's wrong with it is this little guy came off, um, but it literally you can just put some I'm gonna put some uh, glue back on there, and that should be pretty good. But this is selling for like uh, seventy dollars uh, plus shipping. Now there's only one listed on eBay right now for seventy dollars plus like twenty five dollars shipping, but it has a box. It came with the, with the actual box that it came in. So I think that I should be able to price mine around there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna price it that much and then put offers on there and then people can send me offers. But I only paid $4 for that thing. So <laughs> I thought it was a pretty low risk thing to get because you know, like I said, I don't pay four bucks for it. So overall I paid $45 for all of this stuff. Um, and I think after um, shipping and fees, I should be able to make around like $190, $185, to $200 depending on how much stuff uh, sells for. So I, overall, I think I did pretty good. This is probably like my best thrifting haul. Now I did spend quite a bit of time in um, the, I went to like a Christ, Christian thrift store and then I also went to uh, like just a normal Goodwill over here close to my house. Um, the Christian thrift store seemed like it had more um, like vintage type stuff uh, and the prices was actually pretty good. So I'm gonna try to start doing a little bit more of this thrifting cause it, you know, it could be, it could be beneficial to us uh, to just to start thrifting. I see a lot of people doing thrifting and I'm gonna start watching some more thrifting videos so I can get some tips and tricks of what brands to look at and what stuff to look for. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty cool journey. If you like these types of videos, like, share and subscribe, really appreciate it. I'll hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever we release new videos and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.